presently there is much concern over the effect of microfilm and film degradations and the risks of losing important document archives. Vinegar syndrome occurs when cellulose triacetate, the material used to create film stock, starts to break down. When this happens acetate ions begin to react to moisture and create acetic acid. This chemical reaction produces a vinegar-like smell for which the process is aptly named. This process has set off an alarm within the history as it is causing invaluable historic records to slowly fade away. The Eastman Kodak Company recognized the damaged effects of vinegar syndrome in the 50s. The discovery unfortunately came too late for many film and microfilm collections. This problem had damaged or destroyed more than three quarters of silent films and 50% of all films stored before 1950 have been lost as a result of this chemical breakdown. Even now, archives worldwide are slowly being destroyed by the acid created in the chemical reaction. The effects of the chemical breakdown are not merely harmful to film, but to its handlers as well. The toxic fumes that result from the chemical breakdown send harmful contaminants into the air. These are known to have a harmful effect on people. Some of the minor effects are itchy skin, dry eyes and respiratory issues. Those individuals that wear contacts however can experience significant corneal damage when exposed however. This means that both people and film are at risk due to this issue. There are proven methods for slowing vinegar syndrome. One of these methods is to simply control the storage environment. Storing an area with a lower temperature and lower levels of humidity will increase film and microfilm life. Numerous rules have been established on both storage and maintenance of film stock. The Image Permanence Institute of Rochester, New York, P has discovered that the ideal condition for storing film are 50% RH and 70 feet Fahrenheit which can provide the film with 40 years before the start of vinegar syndrome. The condition of the film must also be considered however, when procuring a procedure to save it. This is a common problem with archives that are too aged to be aided by this procedure. It is also important to consider a decrease in degradation when placing film and microfilm in cold, dry areas. Although it is typically better to house in such conditions there must be some percentage of moisture present within the area to ensure that the film does not become excessively dry which will result in damage as well. This places the industry in a tough place because even a minimal amount of moisture will allow for the chemical breakdown to take place. An alternative is to implement molecular sieve technology which is often able to increase the lifespan of the archive. This particular method represents a phenomenal achievement in the ability to deter vinegar syndrome as it offers the advantage of being able to absorb acetic acid, methylene chloride and moisture. The method in which the material has been packaged will also allow for the sieve to aerate. The many benefits that are offered can be seen when preserving the value and usability of an archive. Before time is up microfilm scanning could provide a likely answer. Due to innovative new technologies, some film and microfilm can be successfully transferred onto a more reliable medium, such as Blu-ray and DVD. One major problem with this solution is that not all film is able to be successfully transferred. In some instances the microfilm may have experienced too much damage in order to stand up to the transfer process. The journey to more durable mediums may be too far to travel considering both the current condition and the surrounding procedure. In many cases the ideal method of saving an archive is by entrusting the collection to a restoration service that is qualified and able to bring it back to a viable condition. Washing and neutralizing the acid that has accumulated on the items are some of the methods that are used to restore film and microfilm. The procedure will also include the repair of damaged areas and the transfer of film via frame-by-frame -frame procedures. These steps require the avoidance of sprockets and gears that can rip the film and result in more extensive damage. This means that restoration must only be performed by a reputable professional as the process is able to either save or utterly destroy the valuable item. 
the immediate need to stop the degradation caused by vinegar syndrome as well as restorative measure must be considered in order to preserve the history of the film industry and invaluable microfilm records. There is much that has already been destroyed due to the damaging effect of this common form of film aging. Restorative procedures have become the focal point of the film industry today as it is now recognized that archives are slowly being destroyed and may eventually become lost for all time. New images that have been produced will benefit from the knowledge of all that has been lost as well as new and innovative methods and mediums that have been and will continue to be created to save treasured memories and important records.